know, first, congrats to Minnesota um, on advancing. Uh, I'm really proud of my group. I thought, you know, we played a very good first half tonight. Thought we were defending well. We were doing a good job. You know, their three point shooting can be really devastating when they get going. And I thought we did a great job in the first half of, even though Toro was scoring, we were doing a good job on those other guys. And then in the second half, it got away from us. Obviously, they hit nine threes in the second half. They only had three in the first, you know, and that's that's where, you know, the with us only hitting five threes, you know, that's a minus 21 at the three point line, you know, and that's that's hard, that's hard against anybody to make up. But really proud of this group. You know, it's it's not about the wins and losses this year. Um, we wanted to win more. Um, we fought all year long. That's what I'm so proud about. That's what I'm excited about. These young guys sitting up here. There was never a day throughout any losing streaks or tough losses or whatever we went through. There was never a day that I came in the gym that they didn't want to get better. They didn't want to get to work and they didn't want to keep fighting and keep playing. You know, we won some games late, which I think gave us some momentum uh, going into the off season. We got work to do. You know, we got, we'll have most of our players back. We'll be adding some guys that were injured sitting out. And I'm really excited about the direction of where these guys are headed. Take questions for the students, please. Front row on the left. Then we'll go second row on the right. Thanks. Um, for Pete and uh, Boo, Pete, start with you. you. You seem to really figure stuff out maybe in the final month or so. Like, what happened with your game, would you say? Uh, you know, um, I did, there was nothing really to I just kind of got in the gym. Um, I know I had to stop pointing fingers and look inward and uh, I just really got in the gym and got to work and uh, I'm glad I could get some momentum leading into the off season. And Boo? Yeah, just wait for the mic. Yeah, you had that great stretch midway through the season then you got hurt. It couldn't seem like you got back on track. What is the state of your game now and what was going on in the final several weeks? Uh, you know, I think that uh, any uh, lower body injury set you back a little bit, but uh, I continuously got in the gym and, you know, I just tried to keep getting better and help my team out. So I wasn't, it wasn't really that I was uh, any worse or anything. I was just doing anything for my team so that we could be better and I could be better and win. So even if that's not scoring a lot of points like I was early on, you know, just learning and growing, growing is what I was focused on when I came back from my injury. Second row on the right, then fourth row on the left. Miller, Pete, how do you guys feel about where this program is at now at the end of your sophomore season? Miller, you start. Um, you know, we're really positive. You know, we, we're using this, this game and this season really as motivation going into the off season, going into, into uh, next season. And, you know, our heads are up. And, and this season was tough, but, but we're using, we have used and will use every, um, every loss, every trial and tribulation um, as motivation going to, into the offseason. I mean, Pete. you said it uh, exactly right. Um, you know, we got a great young group, um, you know, moving forward, and we're all going to, you know, put our heads down and just work. Um, we have a lot to prove, um, and I know that we believe that we can accomplish a lot, and that's what's most important, and we're going to stick together and uh, just get to work, and we're going to get a lot better, and we'll be back. Fourth row on the left. Uh, this one's for Coach. What are some of the biggest things you think you learned about your team and your program this season? Well, it was with so many new players and so many new faces. It was it was a great opportunity for me to kind of watch these guys develop as players. You know, try to put them in the places where they could be successful. Um, we had some injuries. You lost Anthony Gaines. We then lost Boo. You know, Miller was a rock for us all year. He made a huge jump in his game from last year to this year. He became, you know, in my opinion, someone who's going to be an all-conference guy going forward. Um, to watch Pete's development the last month, um, you know, where there were a lot of critics, a lot of people down on, you know, what he was doing. And he just, like he said, he just got to work. He listened. He learned. He he got in the gym, and, and he had a great last month. And... Uh, our young core, Ryan Young, Jared Jones, uh, Robbie Barron, Ryan Greer. I mean, there's there's a really young group of guys that I was still learning as players. And these guys are playing together for the first time. And I'll be better for it, too. Like these guys saying they're going to be better. I'm going to be better for it, having coached these guys for a year. 
understanding their skill sets a little better, seeing where we can use and, and how we can do things offensively and defensively. And it's going to be a huge offseason of development, you know, for all of us, players, coaches, everybody involved in the program. Um, it's not about having a bunch of new guys. We're going to have most of these guys back. We'll have a few new pieces. We'll lose a couple guys, but the, the core of this team is going to be back, and it's going to be a great opportunity spring, summer, fall, until we play again next November um, to look like a different team when we take the floor. And, and I'm, I'm really confident about that. I really am. Like, what these guys showed me with their fight and their – this Big Ten this year was, was a monster. And everybody saw it. You guys saw it. And they went out every night. They maybe a couple games that that we didn't, we weren't competitive for the most part over a twenty game season. You know, we were we were competitive night in and night out with a group that's never been out there before, and that showed me what these guys are going to be. And it makes me really encouraged about where we're headed. Questions for students. Anything else for the students? Okay, you guys are dismissed. We'll continue with question. Yeah. You want one more, Teddy? Yeah, Boo, uh, you're off season, man. What are you going to work on? And are you in the mode of, you know, thinking jump shots first, or are you going to try to get to the rack more? Tell me about your off season plans. Uh, you know, I'm in th on my off season. I'm gonna work on. Uh, I'm gonna get with the coaches. I'm gonna talk to my coaches. You know, I'm gonna just trust in and what they have to say and what they think I need to develop in. And I'm always gonna continuously work work on my game and my craft. But this offseason, I think, is going to be huge for me to get in the weight room and, and gain a couple pounds and, you know, just keep, keep watching film, studying guards, and becoming a better point guard. Okay, that'll conclude questions for our students. We'll continue with questions for Coach. You guys are dismissed. Um, Starting the second row here on the left. Uh, Coach, you know, obviously, uh, Gabe Kalsher had eight threes in his last game. You lit him, limit him to one. Were you surprised they got contributions for so many other guys from three-point range? Um, you know, I mean, Peyton has made them all year. Marcus has made them all year. Um, against us, for whatever reason, Otoro becomes like Clay Thompson. Uh, you know, he made three of five in our last game. He makes two of two tonight. He's five for seven against us from three, which really that's where you want him. You want him shooting threes because he's a load down low. But um, I thought Demir, you know, when the game was in the balance in the early part of the second half, I really thought Demir's seven points were big. You know, he went down there, scored twice in the post, then hit a three, and that gave them a little separation when the game was still in doubt. You know, obviously, Einan has been a guy who's been making some shots for him. But, um, you know, our whole thing tonight, was like these guys, if you let all four of their guys get going, if you let Otoro, Willis, Carr, and Kalsher all play well. You got to try to do a good job on two of them. And, you know, that's when they've struggled is when they don't have three of the four going. And I thought in the first half it was going by the book for us. You know, a Toro was going, but the other three, you know, weren't really get, you know, getting the shots, getting the points, and that's why they only had 29. And then in the second half, you know, those guards really picked it up, and, and that's when it got going downhill for us. Second row on the right. What do you think the decision to play the rest of the tournament without fans and obviously the NCAA tournament without fans will do? Like, what do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, well, the players and coaches are going to be super invested. I mean, you've played a whole year and obviously everybody wants what's right, you know, for, I mean, if there's a health issue that's going to impact our, <laughs> the people in, in our, our, our near, our vicinity, globally, whatever it is, we got, we got to take care of that. And I think everybody's in full agreement of that. But you know, I think the players that are here, the coaches that are here, even though the fans won't be in the, there, there won't be any lack of intensity or, or want to. This Big Ten season has been such a fight for all these teams that I'd be shocked if you saw any dip in the level of play. You know, I think everybody's just um, curious and concerned to get more information to figure out what's going to be best so we can stop this thing and not let it not let it become worse. Take two more questions. We'll start on the third row on the left, and then second row on the right. Coach, in your last matchup with Minnesota, they handled you guys pretty well in the first half, like 44 points. This time you only limited them to 29 points. What do you think your defense did better? What did you guys improve upon to kind of hold them down like that? Yeah, well, we were trying to obviously get up on the three-point shooters better. They hit, they hit uh, 14 on us last game. And so our goal was to try to hold them under 10. You know, and, and really, like I said, we knew – that Otoro was going to score. We, we couldn't allow him to get like a 30-20 game. But he's too good of a player because of offensive rebounds and activity. Like he finds his way to 20 points. I mean, he's done it all year long. 
could we limit, you know, his just completely going crazy and then do a great job on the guards? You know, I thought early in the game, you know, we, we put a little bit more. We, Marcus Carr really dominated us in the last game. And I thought we tried to be a little bit more aggressive. We tried to get the ball out of his hands and make those other guys be playmakers. Um, and I thought for a while it went well, but, you know, they adjusted. They 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 got actually regrouped in, at halftime. And, and obviously in the second half, they scored 45, which is, you know, just not – not what we needed it if we were going to be competitive we, we couldn't allow them to get going offensively like that last question for coach second row on the right What's the biggest change you guys have to, make to make the jump next season well i think physicality you know physical and mental toughness you know that you see that a lot with young you know it's not just one i think as a collective group you know just fighting through stretches and games where it's not going so well you know that's where experience that's where toughness you know, a lot of our guys have younger bodies physically. You know, I think we got to have a big, uh, a big summer in the weight room. You know, with the getting stronger and just to to endure the physicality of this league. And I think we got to get better as players. You know, and I think, you know, that starts with me being able to to help these guys in skill development, player development. I think you saw guys got better this year. You know, like I said with Miller, I mean, he was a, he was a much better player this year. I think you saw with Pete within the season. You know, and that's a testament to the work that our coaches do and, and helping get, and that's something we've always prided ourselves on, is that our guys get better, you know, and during their careers. And so, you know, I think we're just anxious. We're going to give a couple weeks, obviously, figure out what's going on with school and all these things, and and then we'll get back at it. And I know our guys are anxious. It's it's a good young group. That's why, you know, what, what our how our guys have been this year through some adversity has really showed me a lot. They never fragmented. They never splintered. They never pointed fingers. They just kept coming back, and they kept wanting to work and, and get better. And that's why I was so happy they found some wins late in the season um, because that can go a long way in, in helping us get ready for uh, what we need to be next year. we got to be better. There's no question. we got we got to be better in almost every area. Thank you, Coach. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks.